Welcome everyone, Questine here with a discussion about God of War on PC and about fixing the constant crashes that quite a lot of people have encountered. There have been many solutions suggested. Sony themselves have put out a patch uh, for, the, for the game. I believe it's live now. It was experimental and then they put it out live. Uh, that apparently has fixed the issue for a number of people, but there are still plenty of people like myself who still are encountering the problem with the game crashing. In my case, it's particularly brutal. Some people are able to get the game running for like, you know, a couple hours, two, three, four hours, uh, and then they start suffering issues and maybe complete uh, crashes. In my case, in certain areas, in particular this area, the uh, close to the central area of Lake of Nine, I get complete uh, system freezes. Now, this is because I have the game installed on an NVMe driver, that the NVMe driver crashes when I run out of memory, which causes the entire my entire system to freeze up. Uh, but even on even installing the game on another drive on, an, on another SSD or regular SSD, uh, I still I, I get the issue of the game crashing. It's like, oh, you ran out out of 10 minutes, at least in this area in other areas, Um, I don't get it quite as badly, but I still have it after a certain period of time. So it is the center area that is... So, how do you fix it? Well, there are different suggestions. One of the suggestions, one of the easier ones, I guess you could say, is one of the most obvious ones. But, well, even people with 32 gigs of memory are still encountering this problem. So, it might help by getting more RAM on your computer, it might help with it, but it's not a complete solution. Uh, increasing your page file, which is what people have talked about. And I've done that, it didn't help. And that's why I'm not gonna show it in this video. I tried that, it didn't really help with, with the problem. Uh, and so I searched quite a bit. I spent an entire day trying to fix this issue, like updating BIOS, updating from Windows 10 to Windows 11, doing all kinds of things, trying to improve uh, on the situation. I thought, okay, maybe if I update to Windows, maybe if maybe I have a memory issue, maybe I have an SSD issue, maybe it's a problem on my end. Well, it isn't just a problem on my end. Uh, though I may have SSD issues, but still, it's a problem. So how do you fix it? A, a problem that quite a lot of people have. How do you fix it? Well, what I found to work is using a certain program that would uh, do the job. And it's called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. And best I, as I can tell, it frees up memory when you're running out of it, right? It gives you more free memory. Uh, it cleans your memory, so to speak, as best as I can tell. I'm no expert on this. I don't really know what it necessarily does. All I know it is that it works, right? So you just download this program you put in the folder somewhere. You do have a setting so it can start with Windows and minimized, just fine. Uh, and you don't have to worry about it. Or you may wanna check that it's actually started because I actually had an issue today where it wasn't starting anymore and I had to fix that um, because apparently it wasn't able to monitor my performance tasks. Well, this is what you get when you get a complete system crashes. And you just uh, either press this purge standby list manually or reset it automatically and you just set it automatically, you let it run, it doesn't hog your performance. Uh, the default settings were like, oh, if file list is 1000, I said to two, 2000. Two, uh, and same with free memory. I have 16 gigs of RAM. And this program, using this program, has done the job far better than any other fix that I've tried. In fact, other fixes have been pretty much irrelevant. This is the only thing that I have found to work in my particular situation. Now, the other fixes that people have suggested, be it getting more memory or increasing your page file size to match your memory, those things might work or uh, disabling your integrated GPU. I've done all of those things. It didn't matter all at all for me personally. This is the only thing that has mattered. And I'm not just playing the game, I'm also recording it with NVIDIA Shadowplay or NVIDIA uh, GeForce Experience. And it works ju just fine. Uh, 
in in terms of that. There are still there's some stuttering. Uh, there's some stuttering that I get, and certainly, if I keep the game running for too many hours, I will have issues with it running out of memory. But hey, I'll take that at the very least. And that's all I have to say on this subject. Try out. Let me know in the comments below if you've gotten this issue. If you if you've had this memory issue with this game, try out. Let me know how it works for you. Cosine signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications. And stay tuned for more.